Hello, this is Brett, and in today's lesson we're going to talk about pointers. Now, we introduced the concept of pointers uh, in a lesson a little while ago, but today we're going to dive into it a little bit more and help you try to understand the concept. So, when we think about pointers, we have to think about memory and what's happening in the computer's memory. So, to help illustrate the point, I'm going to use Excel here. And what I have in Excel is an A column, that's going to represent the memory, and in this B column, I'm just going to use this as a scratch pad for some notes to help us understand what's going on. And then like in Excel, we have these, these rows here that tell us the address of this cell. So uh, in Excel, this is referenced as A101 is this cell. So we'll start with, over in our code, we're going to have a variable called age. Now when we declare age, that's going to go get a memory slot, and in our case, we'll pretend that it's A101, and it's going to reserve this piece of memory for us. Now, when we say age, well, and maybe to better illustrate this, in B, we'll call this age. Uh, and this is, again, this isn't really what's happening in the computer's memory in column B, it's just our notes, but we'll know that A101, this memory slot, is assigned to the age variable. Now if we come in and say age equals 5, what the computer will do is it will put the value 5 into that box. Now like we talked about before, it doesn't actually put 5 in there, it does convert it to binary 1's and zeros and puts the 1's and zeros in, but to make this a little bit more understandable, we'll think of it as if, they put five, if the computer puts 5 in that box. So when we come and we print f age, and we want to know the value of age, we'll do percent %d here, and then we'll just put age. And when we run this code, age value is 5, right? That's understandable, and that's what we've done. But now what we can also do is say we want to print the age address, and we'll do a percent %d again. And instead of, we'll put the variable age in here, but we'll use this symbol here to give us the address of age. So if we save that, uh, you'll see that this gives us age address, and it gives us this decimal representation of the age address, which is this big, long number here. Now what it's actually giving you, and in, in our model, it's giving you 101. That's basically what that's saying. So the age value is 5, and the age address is A101. And here it's giving us a, a longer address because it's somewhere different in the computer's memory. So that's important to understand that, that there's an address to the memory location and then there's the value. So now we int introduce you to the concept called pointer. So let's say we have an age pointer, we'll call age pointer, and the pointer is indicated by this little star here, so we have a pointer to an integer. And then what this will do is it'll come into another memory slot, into uh, 102 here, and it will reserve this memory slot for us, and we'll call that age pointer, just so we have, we know that 102 slot is reserved for our age pointer. Now when we come to age pointer, we can't just give it a value here because it's, the data type is a pointer, so what we can do is we, we need to give it an address. So we'll use the same syntax we use down here for the address of age. We'll say the age pointer we'll give it the address of age. So in the memory what this does is it comes in here and it's the same thing as in Excel. If I type in equals here, equals A101 and then hit enter, it's, it's actually the value in here equals A101 and I can access the 5 through the pointer here. That makes sense, right? So What's stored in here is A101, um, but when you follow the, follow the pointer, you can get the value of 5. And they have a little thing in here that, uh, in Excel particularly, that it's showing you the value, not the pointer. So um, for the sake of this, I'm going to just type in A101 so that we get the idea. So to show this in action, let's say we'll do printf age pointer value do the percent D here and then we'll do age pointer 
and then we'll do printf age pointer address. So we'll follow the same pattern that we've done before. And then we will give the age pointer, and we'll use the same, we'll want the address of the age pointer. So we'll save that. So what we should see is when age value gets printed out, we'll see five. When the age address gets out, we'll see A101, or the equivalent in the computer's memory. When we see age pointer value, we should see A101 again. We should see, a, we should see the value of this box is A101. And then when we see the age pointer address, that will be this new address over here, A102. So when we run this, we'll see, oops, I forgot my new line characters in here. I'll put those in, uh, I'll save this, clear the screen, run it again so it's a little bit more readable. So, uh, and then let me bring up our Excel sheet here so we can see what the differences are. So age value is five, that was to be expected. The age address is this big long number ending in 4108. The age pointer value, so the value inside, the value for age pointer, it's the same. It's this big long number ending in 4108. Just like in our mock model here, that the value of our age pointer here is A101. It's pointing to this memory address. And then if we look at the age pointer address, that is a different number, just like it is here in our model A102. So it's a, it can be a little bit confusing, but it's, the main thing is understanding is, are you pointing to the contents of the cell the memory cell, or are you pointing to the address of the memory cell? And if for every, for any variable, we can get its address by saying the address of age, or if we just call, call the variable, we get the the value of age. So there's sometimes in programming when we want to pass around the address to something, not the value of something. Um, and when we get into the next lesson, when we talk about um, pointers to structs, um, that'll make a little bit more sense. But think about in last lesson when we made that person struct. Maybe there's that person struct has lots and lots of data in it, and the data size is very large. We don't want to be passing around all that data. So instead of passing around um, a big grouping of, let's say, 20 or 30 uh, variables, in the person struct, we just pass A102. It's very lightweight. So you'll see that again in the future, but just to uh, just remember that we have two options here in memory. There's the address of the memory, and then there's the value that's stored in the memory. So read more on pointers, but that should give you a pretty good introduction. Make sure to go through this, this little, uh, this lesson here. Type this stuff out, play with it, um, explore with it, be curious, and uh, that's pointers.